Hello and welcome to another Nimble Video Tutorial. Yes, it's Thursday, I'm back. There's always work to do, there's always work being done. So what do I have for you today? If you have been following my board, my Trillo board, you probably noticed that the last three items that I worked on had to do with making menus more dynamic, uh, cleaning up some of the UI with respective window styles and enabling uh, image and icon support and drop down menus. So I'm going to show what I've uh, enhanced for you today. I have a great little sample app. It's just a, an empty dialog with a menu system. Um, I'll open up the menu that I created. And what I, what I worked on basically was um, enabling or making sure that these buttons here and the image property when set was being properly populated to Nimble.js and of course rendering to the DOM appropriately. Uh, Nimble has always had this functionality in the native code. Um, it's now time, I'm just making sure that everything is lined up and connected on the JavaScript side. The shortcut key or the ability to do hotkeys is being postponed until after the official release. All hotkey and, and control key support that we have is, is all I'm going to add because I want to make sure that um, that's a kernel change. I'm going to make a change to the kernel so that you can attach hotkeys dynamically to a dialog so and it will change hotkeys as you switch instances of both apps and dialogs. So that means it will reuse, uh, you can reuse certain control keys in various applications and what they should not collide so that's a, that's a major enhancement I'm gonna make sure I try to include that after the release that being said this menu editor has been um, something that I've used since uh, power basic I guess as soon as I made nimble version 1.0 it's a great way to lay out a menu system using um, indents and three dots to push over menu items to represent being child or sub menus of a parent menu. So by simply typing in your caption, the, the name or the control ID for the menu item and being able to indent or remove indent items, you are able to build menus and sub menus all within a list box container. This entire data uh, segment or data chunk is parsed by the Nimble JS engine and you get an output similar to this. So literally it's all transparent to you. All you have to do is make sure your hierarchy is set up correctly visually in the list box and just send it to the Nimble engine and you will automatically generate a menu system. What I did like about the original system, the one we have here, is it takes up about 20, and it, it's customizable, it takes up some of the real estate on your dialogue when you have a menu system. So part of my board was to make this menu system more dynamic. It has an auto-hide functionality, allow you to put images inside um, the menu system, as well as enable, disable, and uh, add a highlight functionality. So I'm going to show you just a quick look at the menu system that we have functioning here because it has auto hide functionality as well as the icon showing. You can highlight a menu item and this one is disabled because as you see the mouse does not allow you to click on it. Oh, I'm sorry. The mouse does not allow you to click on it. It doesn't change to a pointer. Once this application is compiled or built within Nimble, you'll notice it's, it does look slightly different than way, the way it looks in the IDE. I made the, the global settings for this application when compiled, I increased the size and of the menu bar, but it works identical. It's just larger. The main menu is larger based on the set my global settings. The reason in the ID it looks this way is it's using the it's using the global settings of the nimble application to render this uh, menu system. That's why it looks smaller. When you execute it will use the global settings of the application is compiled in. Just wanted to give you a good look at the enhancements I've made to the menu system. I was able to recapture my real estate so now I don't have to worry about uh, 
these menus dropping and, and taking up some of my dialogue real estate and it, it seems to work really nicely. That's all I got for you today. Dynamic menu systems, icons, and soon after the release, maybe high key support. All this and more, the Nimble JS platform. Thank you for watching.